Today on our 2018 Ford F53 chassis motorhome, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Timberin Rear Suspension Enhancement System. That's going to be part number TFR F53A. Now a lot of different things can affect how our motorhomes drive, whether it be a big gust of wind pushing on the side or if it's uneven terrain or perhaps we're flat towing a vehicle behind it. All of those things can put a lot of stress and pressure on our rear suspension, especially because of how tall our motorhomes are. And especially in the back, since most bathrooms and bedrooms are gonna be at the back of the motorhome, having all that extra weight. Our timbers are gonna provide us the support we need for all those different things. They're gonna make sure that we can get down the road more safely and confidently, all while being comfortable so we can get where we're going. Our Timberins are going to be custom designed for our motorhome and they're going to have an 8,600 pound weight capacity. However, you should always double check your owner's manual, never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight because they're not intended to increase the towing capacity, they're just meant to help support all those heavy loads. So here's what our Timberins look like once we have them installed. These are going to go in between the axle and the frame and give us all the support we need whenever we have a heavy load in our motorhome. Whether that be we're flat towing a vehicle behind our motorhome or we just have a lot of gear in the back, our suspension is going to take a lot of strain and stress. Our Timberins is going to help reduce that by supporting the weight in between the axle and the frame. Now this is our factory John stop and if I set it against the frame you can already tell there's quite a bit of size difference. And this is only going to come in contact with the axle whenever we bottom out. Whereas our Timberin here is going to be in constant contact, giving us that support even when we don't have anything loaded down. And our Timberin is going to be made out of rubber, so it is going to absorb a lot of the road shock and bumps when we're going down the road, making it a more comfortable ride. Each side is going to work independently from each other, so it's going to help out a lot with the body roll and swaying feeling. Since our motorhomes are a little top heavy, it's going to help reduce that which is gonna help out and we're not gonna feel so tired from fighting the steering wheel back and forth whenever we get where we're going. One of the nicest things about our Timberins is the fact that they're gonna be completely maintenance free. Once we have them installed, we can forget about them. Unlike a lot of airbag systems where we're gonna to have to run airlines and maintain air pressure, we're not gonna to have to worry about that. And these are gonna be a completely bolt-on installation. We're not gonna to have to cut or drill anything at all they're simply just gonna bolt into the factory spot where our jound stops are. So now that we've seen what our Timberins look like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get them installed. To begin our installation, we're gonna to wanna to come underneath our motorhome, but you wanna make sure you put your leveling jacks down in the back so that the suspension can hang, but there's no need to have the tires off the ground. We just want enough room in between our axle and the frame that we can have room to put everything in but directly above our rear axle we'll find our jount stop and it's going to have two bolts that are holding it in place. On the outside of the frame the bolts will be going through. We're going to be using a 13 millimeter socket to loosen it up and then on the inside of the frame we're going to have two nuts that are holding it in and you'll want to grab a 15 millimeter wrench or socket to hold the nut. Once you have all the hardware loose the bolts out and the entire bracket and bump stop assembly and this will not be getting reinstalled. Now we can get ready to assemble our new Timberin. We'll take the large flat plate, we'll line it up with our spring, and then we're going to take our L bracket and it's going to have one round hole and four slotted holes in it. The round hole you want that recessed area to be sticking up, we'll line it up with the hole in the spring and the bracket. Then we're gonna take one of our flathead bolts, drop it down through. Now you're gonna to wanna to hold that with your finger and flip it over. And you can see on the inside that there's a washer and that hole's gonna go all the way through. We're gonna grab the nut from our kit and to help us out to get everything in place, you can grab a long extension and a 19 millimeter socket you want to make sure that washer is pushed around the bolts on the inside. I'm going to put the bolt inside the socket. And I'll turn my spring sideways a little bit and then use the socket to help guide it down in there. Now it may take a couple tries. 
so it doesn't line up perfectly. Again, just make sure that washer is going around the bolt and get it guided on there. And then we'll just get it started by hand for right now. Just to make sure it's on there and it's not going to fall off. Double check. Now for our flat head bolt, we're going to grab a 5 16 Allen. And again, we'll turn it sideways. And again, use that long extension socket. Make sure it catches the nut and we'll tighten everything up. Now you want to make sure that everything's nice and snug to the point where the spring isn't going to be moving around. So you can see that is still a little loose. So let's take our socket and make sure everything's snug. Now with our spring assembled, you'll see that flat piece and that L shape with the four holes. This is going to go on the bottom of the frame and this is going to go on the outside of the frame. We'll take a 3 8 bolt and a flat washer. This is going to go through one of the holes going in through the frame and then on the inside we're going to secure it with a 3 8 lock nut. Now we're going to use a different combination of these holes because those are going to line up with the factory holes in our jounce stop. You just want to make sure whichever holes you end up using that it's going to sit nice and centered above the axle. So you may use the outer one and then the inner one towards the front or you may use the other combination where it's going to be the inner one towards the front and the very outer towards the back. You just really have to see once we get it underneath there of how we want it to sit. That outer flange is going to sit on the outside of the frame. That lower piece is just going to go right to the bottom. So we can take our hardware, we'll go through the bracket and we'll go through the frame and just to make sure my assembly doesn't fall I'm going to go ahead and put one nut on the back side of that bolt so I can get everything kind of centered up and make sure I'm using the correct hole so it's going to sit directly above the axle then we can always come back put the other pieces of hardware in place you just want to make sure you at least get everything in there hand tight. I don't have to worry about the spring falling down or losing any of the hardware. And once you have the hardware in, you're going to come back with a 916 socket and wrench and tighten everything up. So with this side done, we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. That'll finish up your look at the Timberin Rear Suspension Enhancement System, part number TFR-F53A on our 2018 Ford F53 chassis motorhome.